Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We finally got some grindable preseason content, some decent content from EA Sports relating to this promo, finally, all right? They added more players to packs, which I thought they weren't going to do, but Jamie Foot Economist came today with a W move, put some more cards back into packs. Now we have upgrade SBCs that are now grindable because we can actually pack stuff from them. We have new objectives, and a new TOTS SBC as well to talk about. Um, overall today, the, the biggest W of today, if there were no other cards that were added to packs, if they didn't, wouldn't have done that today, I think Friday would have been a bit of a bust. But they did go out and put in a really large chunk of cards in packs. It's basically very similar to like batch three of the Summer Heat promo. I'll drop a link in the description of all the cards that are in packs. Um, 81 plus packs are actually grindable now. The upgrades are actually doable. So in my opinion, that's the biggest W from today is all the stuff that is in packs. And again, that, that list is down below in the description. A lot of people didn't even realize that those cards were in packs today uh, because EA did not tweet it out. Foot Economist himself actually tweeted that out. So uh, you may have seen some drop, dropping prices a little bit. I doubt those cards actually got supplied that much on the market though, because uh, most people probably aren't packing them that much tradable without the, without promo packs but they probably did drop a little bit on the market. So that's the biggest W because it, again, that allows us, even though we have like two days left on these upgrade SBCs, that allows us to go out and complete some of these upgrade SBCs and to have some fun. Um, now that also makes it kind of interesting because these are going away. They added more cards to packs. All of the stuff that I talked about in yesterday's video about the new SBCs that are coming, right? We didn't get any new packs today. Um, the only new pack that was added to the code last night that we got on Friday was the objective pack. This is like the second, I guess, biggest dub on the day is this eye of the icon objective. It does take a little bit. You have to win eight rivals matches, but when you put it in perspective, you know what? I think this 80 plus player pick is actually going to be worth it for foot 21 because an 80 plus player pick at the beginning of the game, you could pack an 81, 82, 84, 85 rated card, um, that you know, slots right into your team. That's actually a W, all right? Is it worth eight rivals wins? That might be a bit much, but I'm still fine with it, right? I'm still fine with it. You go out, you win eight rivals matches, you score 20 goals, and then uh, you have to play two more squad battle games maybe if you win all eight. So basically you have to play 10 games-ish uh, to uh, get all of this done. Not bad, right? And you get an any icon player pack. So I opened one of these today and we got Prime Baresi. So these packs are very interesting. Probably not the greatest, but uh, that's the only pack that was entered or that was given out today um, that matters, I guess. I guess they gave out the team of the season loans as well. Again, another FIFA 21 um, reward, but this is an 84 to 88 loan player pick. So I guess uh, you're going to get this done though. If you guys have any TOTS players in your teams, I mean, if you're playing in any games, all you have to do is assist two goals, play three matches with three of them in your club and then or in your squad and then score an outside of the box goal. So you're probably going to get that done very easy if you're doing the eye of the icon objective. I would recommend you do this. I don't think, honestly think you should because that 80 plus player pick could be very handy at the start of uh, FIFA 21. Now, it's probably not going to be juiced or anything like that, but that's nice content, right? That's a GG. Thank you, EA Sports. That is a GG. We appreciate that kind of content, right? We appreciate it. Other things that came out today on this game was a 90 plus TOTS SF repeatable, not repeatable, a 90 plus TOTS upgrade, not repeatable upgrade. And here's my issue with this one. We've had this, uh, this SBC has been out for a while. Uh, why, in fact, do we not get the 92 plus TOTS? Because that is the SBC that came out yesterday if we take a look at again if we want to take a look at what the code was it was actually dropped yesterday I'll, I'll show you guys this again this was the code that was dropped late yesterday before uh before friday right we had a 92 plus tots pack we had the prime pack we had the five rare gold 89 or higher pack and then we had the icon packs right any icon player and one icon moments player along with the lone tots sf so we haven't got the icon moments player guaranteed the 89 five rare players or the 92 TOTS SF. I thought one of those was going to come today. Unfortunately, it didn't come on Friday. Um, now, the really interesting thing, again, is that these expire on Sunday, right? So Sunday, the 81 plus doubles, the 82 to 88, and the icon upgrade go away at the same time. To me, 
What I think is going to happen is this icon upgrade with a prime or moments icon is going to get replaced with the icon moments upgrade. I don't know how much that SPC is going to cost. I hope it's the same cost as this icon upgrade, or maybe they just want to go all out and say, make it an 88 rated squad. And that's it. And people would love that. If that was an icon moments upgrade, people would absolutely love that. They would, they would go bananas for that at this stage. Right. But the bottom line is right. It's fine and it's fun to do these SPCs now because the 82 to 88 has packable cards from it and the 81 double plus. I did 20 tonight between two accounts. Uh, on my account, I hit two foot birthdays. It was actually a duplicate lasagna who I hit. Then on the other account, we had three team of the season cards in 10 packs. So, um, you know, some of the 81 pluses, like there's grindable menu content now. You can sit here, you can do 81 plus double upgrades get cards that are high enough rated to put into icon upgrades or to craft other SPCs when they come out. Now, of course, these are out for one day, 20 hours, so they could go away on Sunday. What other thing that could happen on Sunday is these get refreshed and nothing changes. They're just here for more time or they put out the 85 to 92 and the double 84 plus upgrades. That would be crazy. Imagine the 84 to or the 85 92 coming out again, repeatable along with the 84 double plus with all the cards that are in packs with team of the years in packs still a lot of team of the seasons as well that would be crazy right and that's why i'm kind of excited today because we have grindable content once again in this game literally at the start of the promo all we said was yo if they put more cards in packs this promo would be a lot more of a w right so for the next 27 days we have more cards in packs thank you thank you thank you ea sports we appreciate it, right? Now, let's talk about some of those cards that are in packs, right? And that 89 five rare plus pack, right? So if we looked at all the cards that are in packs, there's a lot of cards that are 89 and above that are gonna make this pack maybe not as OP. Uh, because before, when we had the 89 double plus packs, either you were getting like gold cane, gold Busquets, gold Terstegen, or you were getting a team of the year or a really high tier team of the season. Does that mean that these 89 plus five rare gold players packs are going to be less op in my opinion no i still think they're going to be very op because um you're going to have the chance to pack more tots cards that were not in packs before now i guess you could say in the fact that would it be as op your chance at a 99 rated card might be less because there's more cards now that are 89 and above because they put other versions in packs right you have five picks at it right you have five different versions that you can choose this card with the uh with the previous items and packs for the past two weeks, like the 50 some odd cards, right? You would have maybe got one team of the year and then you would have gotten maybe one team of the season and then you would have gotten like three gold cards after that, most likely, right? That's how I would have seen it happening. Now, you have a chance to get multiple team of the season cards, multiple team of the year. I mean, I mean you had multiple team of the year card chances before. I still think I like my chances better with that 89.5 plus and the stuff that is out right now. I really do. I know some people, some people said it's going to water it down. Yeah, you have a point. You do have a little bit of a point because before guys like, you know, Bale weren't in there uh, or Pogba's foot birthday or uh, some of these other cards are like 89, 90 rated. But you know what? I don't think that matters too much to me because, you know, the same drop rate that you would have had for like an 89 rated um, special card right now that is in packs probably had the same 89 rated drop as the gold card that was in packs before. So yes, there are more cards to choose from because there's more cards 89 and above that are in packs. So I understand where you're coming from, but I still think they're going to be cracked. They're going to be OP. Imagine it's going to be like a player pick, but you get all the cards in the player pick. If you think of it that way, five different players is basically a player pick, right? But you get all those players inside of one 89 plus pack. So that's going to be a pack that a lot of people want to go for. And if you if you want to just start stocking your club with fodder, um, I'm not saying go and buy fodder, but some of the super high tier fodder actually dropped today because some of those 93s, 94s, 95s, 92s, 91s are back in packs. So some of those actually dropped today on the market, lowering some of that fodder prices a little bit. Other than that, though, fodder around the board is still very, very high. 86s or 20, 28, 9 or 20. Eight, nine thousand, thirty thousand coins. Now, of course, over the course of this next week, as they put out tradable pack supply, some of these cards are going to drop down a little bit if we don't have any massive SBCs. Um, but the need for you to actually have to go out and buy some of these is going to be so much less. Now, the, the last thing that we need from EA Sports 
is that 90 plus tots upgrade or the 92 plus or even the any tots repeatable we need that repeatable 81 or 82 rated squad low chemistry right that is the last step that we need to make this promo a w because you could go 81 plus double upgrade you could you could put the cards that you don't want and don't get good the items that you don't get from that pack that are very good that you don't want put them into any tots upgrade then you get a tots player which you can go craft an icon upgrade with or go craft other sbcs so that's what i'm hoping for Am I hoping that released the 84 plus and 85 92? Heck yeah, those packs were insane before. Uh, so I hopefully they redo those, but I have a hunch they're just gonna re-up the 81 plus and the 82 to 88 on Sunday. So that is a bit unfortunate. Other things that happened today, who did I sell? Uh, nice, we sold two cards, GG's. Champions League, Champions League action. Actually, as I'm recording this game, uh, Bayern is up 5-2 on um barcelona so you're seeing a lot of market movements that's why you saw me sell my kingsley coman and my garetskra because they went up i made some coins on them ggs if you got in uh, because those cards are actually going up in price and i actually found something interesting that i want to show you guys because this has not been talked about before um I've been talking about, you know, where are the Champions League showdowns? Where is the top transfer content? I think this line, there's one line in this webpage that I think uh, we're missing, right? Champions League showdowns, we've been asking. We have been asking, where are these SBCs? Check this out. Squad building so ch showdown challenges, returning in a fresh new way. Introduction of Champions League showdown, coming during the final stretch of the competition. So I guess to EA Sports... The final stretch of the competition isn't the quarterfinal matches. So I guess maybe they're saving some of those uh, for the semifinal and the final games, I'm guessing. Uh, that is one thing that I think I kind of read over beforehand that I might have missed. Um, we're still getting halftime SBCs, but we haven't seen anything related to top transfers. Hopefully we see something along those lines this week. Since they changed up the content a little bit, uh, maybe we will see something along those lines. And again, somebody was talking about this in the stream. And I think it's a very, very valid, very, very valid reasoning. You know, a lot of times, you know, think about Summer Heat as well. Summer Heat, the content was pretty good right at the beginning. Uh, but the, at least the stuff that was in packs got a lot better as we went on in the game, right? They added more cards to the packs. They went from just putting in, you know, like, Road to the Final cards in packs. Then they put in, like, Scream cards. Then they had Headliners. Then we had Foot Birthdays in packs for Batch 2. Then Batch 3 was Team of the Season. You know, they kept like ramping that up, right? Maybe that's what they're doing with this preseason promo as well. Started off kind of mellow, then they're going to ramp it up kind of this week. And that would make sense with the stuff that we've seen added to the code, the different packs. It seems to start to be ramping up in terms of content uh, this week in foot. So the biggest question for the menu grind is what's going to happen with these SBCs on Sunday. And hopefully we continue to get these upgrade packs because it's at least fun to try to pack some of these cards at this stage of the game last thing i want to talk about is stuff that did not come out today and that was the kevin de bruyne sbc i know a lot of you guys are probably like yo where is this kdb sbc supposedly uh and this was told by i think it was released on twitter today that trent alexander arnold won uh young player of the year i believe yes the uh he tweeted today proud hashtag premier league awards and Trent Alexander-Arnold won the Premier League Young Player of the Year. Goal.com tweeted it today on Twitter. There's a lot of tweets about this. So Trent Alexander was awarded the award for the Young Player of the Year. So where is our Player of the Year, De Bruyne? Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but the way that EA did this voting, right? Which, by the way, Kevin De Bruyne is still kind of low. He's like 194. I think the reason why we didn't get a Kevin De Bruyne SBC today, I fully expected that announcement to come today. That's probably when they plan to do the announcement as well. Trent was able to win the award today because he is not in Champions League. He is back home. You know, he is around. Uh, he is not out playing, right? This has happened with Player of the Months before and other awards. They don't announce the award because that player is not around to accept the award. So, De Bruyne right now is in Champions League. He's playing today, right? He's playing today on the 15th on Saturday against Olympic Lyon. Um, I don't know where this match is being played, uh, but he is not home, right? They're playing in the Netherlands. Danny Desmond, uh, the Netherlands. Oh, that's that's the, the referee. The venue is Jose Alvalade. 
Uh, Lisbon, Portugal. Hey, they're playing in Portugal. Okay, so Manchester City is not home right now, right? That's why KDB can't receive the award, and that's why I think we did not see that SBC come out today in foot, right? That makes me think KDB won. I still think the SBC is coming. I still think it's going to be ridiculously overpriced, but I'm almost glad that it didn't come today because if you're somebody who has been wanting to do that SBC, you've been saving your fodder, you now have a chance to get more fodder by doing upgrade packs, packing those cards, and you know even like through Division Rivals rewards, right? You played Division Rivals this week, do objectives. You might pack a Team of the Season card that has been just added to packs or another special card that can help you on your way to getting that KDB. So that's why I think KDB didn't come today. I still think it's coming soon. Just keep a heads up on that one because usually they like to get the player face, you know, like the, the player of the year cards that we've had in the past years. It's been, you know, Neymar holding the trophy, Van Dyke holding the trophy, Sterling holding the trophy. So that kind of stuff, I think they kind of wait on just because they have to present the award to that person. And that's why we don't actually see it in the game. So that's my thoughts on the content for today. Honestly, um, I'm kind of happy with it, especially because of the stuff that is in packs. Hopefully on Saturday, today, actually, I'm recording this on Friday. That's why I keep saying today, as you know. But hopefully on Saturday today, we do get more content. Maybe, you know, I don't think we're going to get that Moments SBC yet. Maybe we get another player pick. Maybe the 89.5 player pack comes out today. That'd be insane. Uh, but regardless, I'm stoked to have cards that are in packs. I'm stoked to have these SBCs like actually mean something now and uh, a decent objective as well. So good luck with your weekend league if you're grinding those games. It actually gives you a little bit more motivation to grind the weekend league as well because there's more special cards in packs that you can get from Rivals Rewards, from weekend league rewards, and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Accountant, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.